So, um, Johan, you often send me this scope to look at, um, and I don't know, I'm not a massive glass guy myself, but you obviously know your stuff, so what, what sort of thing can I use this for? Well, first of all, I don't think it's a very practical scope for all-round African hunting. Um, it's a bit on the bulky side, you will have to carry your rifle out here yourself. Having said that, I think it's a very neat scope for shooting at light. It's got parallax adjustment, it's got a lighted reticle, um, first focal plane um, reticle, reticle as well, which yeah. I like a lot. Um, it's mounted on a Hawa um, 243 here, so the, it's typically the kind of gun that people would use around here to shoot problem animals at night. So vomiting. Uh, it's, it's a vomiting rifle. Yeah. For that I think it's just fine. The 3, three to 18 magnification range is, is, is more than adequate. You're not going to need more than that. Um, the glass is pretty good. I had a look through it now uh, when we ball sighted it. Uh, crystal clear glass on the inside. And the Opto is known for quality. It's a quality product. And so but you say it wouldn't be suitable for planes game and, and, and stuff like that. Would you, what, is there any particular reason for that? It's just too much going on or? Well, uh, first of all, most of the shots out here are generally not really further than about two or three hundred meters. Yeah. Even in the open country we are on now. So uh, you don't really need all the, well, you certainly don't need a lighted reticle because planes game hunting here will take place during the day. Light yep. is generally excellent. Yeah. So you don't need all the stuff that's going on here. Um, but like I said, for specific purposes, this will do just fine. As a, uh, if, if it was mine, I would have mounted it on a similar rifle, use it for warm and shooting, um, perhaps even a bit of culling at night. That happens in these parts as well. And for that, I think it's, it, it, it's a perfectly adequate scope. And for the price, which is about 600 pounds, would you say that's, um, you know, what, from what you've seen, would you say that's a good price? Or? Yeah, I reckon it's a fair price. It's in line with some of its competitors. Um, but like I said, Miopto has a very good um, reputation. Um, looking at the turrets, something I always make a point of checking is adjustments. And the adjustments are very positive. You know, you, yeah. can, you can feel the clicks. That's important, yeah. Hear it. And I like that a lot. That's yeah. To me, as I, I'm getting older and my shooter's ears are getting worse, that's a very <laughs> important consideration. For yeah. Me. Feeling as well as feeling a feel exactly, of the click and exactly. I want I like to be sure of how many clicks I've adjusted. I mean, from my point of view as well, it, lo it looks it looks it looks pretty stylish, you know. If, if that's but of course, you know, when you certainly for someone like yourself, you want practicality when it comes to hunting, right? On a hunting rifle, this is perhaps not the ideal. On a vomiting rifle, I'd say this is, this will work perfectly. Awesome.